NBC 15's Chief Meteorologist Thomas Giboy has been tracking Helene for us throughout this week. Thomas, what is the very latest on this massive storm? And it is a massive storm and it's a category four storm with winds of 130 miles per hour and gusts upwards of 155. This is using the enhanced infrared satellite imagery and you can clearly see that that eye continues to clear out, which means Helene could very well strengthen even more before it makes landfall in the Big Bend region and it's moving pretty quickly to the north northeast at 23 miles per hour, which means it's only a matter of time before we see that landfall by one o'clock in the morning after Helene moves inland. It could still be a category two hurricane as it moves into south central Georgia. You have hurricane warnings that are posted a couple of counties south of Atlanta because of its forward speed. We could see those very strong winds and hurricane force winds extend well inland with this storm and the tropical storm force winds could even extend as far north as the Appalachian Mountains. As you can see, the large swath of tropical storm warnings. This is going to be a significant storm, not only for where it makes landfall, but for inland locations as well. Not only could we see surge around 15 to 20 feet around the Big Bend region. However, we are also going to see some very heavy rain and across the southeastern United States. There are going to be plenty of spots that see over half a foot and even some areas, potentially even the Appalachian Mountains seeing over a foot of rainfall, which means flash flooding is going to be a very big concern for us. We're on the western and dry side of the storm. If you're in Okaloosa County, you've seen some rain as we've gone through today and some pretty gusty winds, but most of us have been checking in just mainly with mostly cloudy skies with those breezy winds out of the north. Here's currently what it looks like with our Boer tower camera looking towards downtown Mobile. You can tell that the camera is still shaking 79 degrees and we have that northerly wind around 15 miles per hour with the occasional gust upwards of 30 and we still do have that wind advisory for coastal Alabama and also northwest Florida through midnight tonight. Temperatures will slowly cool as we go through tonight, eventually falling into the low 70s by midnight, and we'll see overnight lows in the 60s. By tomorrow, we're going to be returning to mostly sunny skies, and we'll see some pretty nice weather as we move into this weekend.